So, with Steve Seymour from Holford Engineering in Ainsbury, but just for clarification, it's St. Neots in Cambridge? It is, yes, St. Neots in Cambridge, yes. And machines you've got here? We've got a range of uh, vertical milling machines, a five axis uh, Mazak on the right here, which is a three metre machine. We have two two and a half metre um, three and four axis machines. We have a small uh, five axis Micron in the corner there. Here we have a two metre Dusa machine, which is, a three, which is a three axis machine. And again, another five axis three metre Mazak machine. And walking through here, a lot of different components. What sort of materials are you covering? We have a range of materials. Over there, we have a cast iron casting. That's for the tobacco industry. Over here, we have some uh, plate work. Now, the plate work is, is for the pre-press equipment. Um, it's like this, this component here is really impressive. What's this? That is a large aluminium casting there for the uh, diesel engine. It's, it's part of the diesel, diesel engine equipment. There's a great deal of machining carried out on that, on that component, accurate machining. In fact, we actually line bore all the, all the way through horizontally on one of the Mazak machines. There's some very accurate bores internally, which we, we bore line bore on the Mazak machine. OK, it's a really tricky component, but the boring as well, which is absolutely really, really impressive. It, it is. It's a difficult component to produce, but we've done it on new, numerous occasions, and we've cracked it um, as, far as, the, as far as the line boring. Now, the Micron 5-axis, relatively small components, but the Mazak, the Dutz and Cincinnati, what sort of size beds have they got? Uh, the two Mazaks are three-metre beds. They're, they're both 5-axis. The two Cincinnatis are two and a half metres, one three-axis, one four-axis. We've got a two-metre Dutz in the corner there. The Micron is a 5-axis, 600 mil working area. Steve, you've already covered off very briefly some of the industries that you work with. What other industries do you cover? Well, as, as, as well as the um, cigarette making equipment, the diesel engine equipment, we have sort of paper handling equipment. But let's go over there and have a, have a look at some paper handling equipment on the large machine in the corner. OK, let's go. So, Steve, in terms of the industries that you work for? Well, besides the one, ones we've mentioned over there, this area we are machining some com large components for the uh, paper handling equipment. These are two large castings that are loaded on this cube in this horizontal machine. It's a large Toyota horizontal, two metre cube. We have the ability to machine two operations in one setting on this side. And on the left hand side, we lo then load the op two operation, which is the external components. That is some impressive components. From, and the industries there mentioned, paper, paper handling. What other industries do you cover? Well, we have some rail industry components here. Now, in terms of rail, do you need accreditation for that type of work? We do. Besides the 9001, um, we also have the, the Achilles and the RISC accreditation, which allows us um, to produce components for the rail industry in general. Excellent. Now, another component you've got here? Uh, this is an aluminium casting. This is for a MOD. It's an MOD component. This sits underneath your rescue boats. It's part of the jet propulsion system. And the relationship with the casting supplier, who's our direct customer, is, is, is coming along nicely. Okay, and that's, what machine is that done on? That's done on the Mazak, a five-axis machine. It's ac accurate faces needed from one side to the other, so we, we machine in one setting, so we have the ability with a horizontal head to machine one side, then come over and machine the other side. So you've got the accurate, accurate relationship between the two. Impressive stuff. Now, some very large components going on here. Is that all you cover? No, we, we have the five-axis Micron in the corner there. That's a 600 mil working area. Um, we're developing a race relationship with a motorsport team at the moment. Um, that's Parker Motorsports. Now, as I understand it, they were a very successful go-karting team last year. Very successful go-karting go team. They won the British Championship last year, as well as uh, other championships, and we're hoping to develop the relationship with them. OK, so that Micron, five-axis, very high-speed machine. So you're doing the sort of smaller, more bespoke parts? Yeah, a lot of development work we're hoping to get on board with, with Parker Motorsport. Um, a lot of development work as far as the engines are and such are concerned. So yeah, it's an area that we're hoping to break into. Okay, really impressive stuff, and you've got some fantastic mills here. Well, we've got mills, but we've also got some large lathes in the corner there, if you want to go and have a look. Seems opportune to go and have a look then. Steve, we're in the turning centre here, and to be honest, these machines make me feel quite insignificant. Well, here we have two large CNC lathes. The one behind us is a 1.2 metre chuck um, CNC lathe. The one on the right is a 1.5 metre between centres, 550 mil diameter chuck. This large one behind us here, um, we have the ability to machine components such as this size here. Um, a fair size component. What sort of weight will, will it take up to? Well, it take up to sort of three quarters of a ton in the, in the jaws. 
this one's typically a, a day and house machining. Once that's machined, it ends up looking like the component on the right hand side here. This industry is a subsea uh, industry uh, we're machining for at the moment. Steve, I think really, just to summarise it, you've got a fantastic machine shop. You'll cover huge castings through to the small, precise stuff, bespoke work as well, and these machines turning and milling. What a great operation. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.